Hey y'all, it's West Virginia History with Mrs. B and today I got the Wheeling feeling and so we are going to talk about Wheeling, West Virginia which is located in the Northern Panhandle along the Ohio River and it has always been a strategic point because it's where Wheeling Creek dumps into the Ohio River but it's also going to be a stopping point on the National Road which is now um, US 40 but it's also going to be a terminus of the Baltimore and Ohio Rail road um, there's so many things to see and do and experience in Wheeling and Wheeling is just chock full of history Wheeling is also chock full of really good restaurants um, people love De Carlos pizza we have a separate uh, video on this channel about the De Carlos experience and a place that I fell in love with uh, was Sarah's on Main because they make spectacular cinnamon rolls and typically we don't recommend um, chain hotels as part of this project but one exception is I'm going to recommend the Hampton Inn on the National Road in Wheeling. Um, we've stayed there and it has been named the best Hampton Inn in the world for four years in a row and a lot of that has to do with, just, with the amazing people who work there and if you want an amazing stay, an amazing Hampton Inn, that's it. There's so much in Wheeling, whether that be the um, Ogilvy Park Festival of Lights, which happens at each year during the holidays, the Ohio Valley Italian Heritage Festival in the summer, as well as the Grecian Festival. Um, Wheeling is just this beautiful industrial town that is full of history and I really think is making a comeback. So stay tuned and Mason is going to tell you more about why wheeling is so amazing and you need to have the wheeling feeling too. My name is Mason Lanham and I'm in Miss Barnett's West Virginia history class and today I will be telling you about a road trip to wheeling. Wheeling is one of the most historic cities in West Virginia so it makes for a great road trip. Um, today I'll be telling you some places you can eat at, some places you can stay, and some places or some things to do. Um, the first place to eat is Avenue Eats. It's one of the most popular places to eat in Wheeling and is loved by the locals. They're known for having some of the best burgers in the country and they're especially known for their barbecue hamburger which is made from barbecue sauce, cheddar, and onions. This is located at 476 Warden Run Road in Wheeling, West Virginia. The next place to eat is Coleman's Fish Market. This is a well-known seafood restaurant in Wheeling. It is known for their fish fish sandwiches and is a favorite among locals and visitors. It is located at Center Market area at 226, 2226 Market Street in Wheeling, West Virginia. The next place to eat is the Wheeling Brewing Company. Um, it's a well-known local business in Wheeling. They offer foods such as their blackened shrimp tacos and kimchi and vegetables bowl. Um, this is located at 2247 Market Street. Uh, the next place to eat is Later Alligator. Um, this offers a wide variety of food. One of their most popular dishes is the mac and rib sandwiches that they serve. Um, Later Alligator is located at 2145 Market Street, Wheeling. The last place I will recommend today is Fig Figaretti's Restaurant. Um, it is an Italian restaurant and is loved by its locals and the visitors. Um, it is one of the most popular places in Wheeling to eat. Um, it offers Italian food such as pasta and seafood and it has many other dishes like meatball lasagna, stuffed shells, chicken piccata, and ravioli dishes. The next place to visit would be the Ogilvy Zoo. This is a great place to spend a great day with the family. Um, the zoo offers animals like red pandas, African wild dogs, meerkats, lemurs, otters, and more. Um, they also offer attractions to visitors like the train ride around the zoo, rope course, discovery lab, and a playground. It is located at 465 Lodge Drive in Wheeling. The next is the Capitol Theater. This is a 20th century 
style architecture, um, a very historic place in Wheeling. It holds about 1,300 people. Um, it hosts a wide variety of things each year, such as Broadway shows, comedy acts, concerts, and dances. It is located at 1015 Main Street. Uh, the last place I would recommend to go is the Glass Museum. Uh, glass has been a big part of West Virginia history and uh, this museum really showcases the rich history of glass making in West Virginia. Um, it includes exhibits that show how glass has been produced over the years with um, artifacts from manufacturers like Willing, Willing Glass Company and Foster Glass Company. Uh, there's also a gift shop where guests can buy glassware and souvenirs. It is located at 1100 Main Street. Um, this concludes the road trip. This is a reminder we are trying to keep this road trip authentic to West Virginia, but you can always eat at chain restaurants, but all the restaurants I just named are locally owned. Next for the places to stay, um, we have the Wheeling Island Hotel. Um, this hotel offers your modern accommodations such as Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs, etc. Um, it has a racetrack with live races and dining and entertainment. Um, this hotel is located at 1 South Stone Street in Wheeling. Um, the next is the Ogle Bay Resort. It is a beautiful and scenic resort. Um, if you are looking to go to the Ogle Bay Zoo, it is really close to it. Um, also, visitors can enjoy things such as hiking, biking, golfing, fishing, and lakes at the Ogle Bay Resort. It is located at 465 Lodge Drive in Wheeling. The next is the Grove Terrace Motel. If you're looking to stay at a motel in Wheeling, this would be the place for you. Um, it is located close to many of the well-known attractions and restaurants in Wheeling. Um, it is located on the National Road at 2076 National Road in Wheeling. McClure Hotel is a historic hotel named in honor of Alex McClure. Um, the hotel offers standard rooms with and suites with accommodations like Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs, and in-room coffee makers. Um, and the last hotel to stay at, or place to stay, is Bonnie and Joanne Bed and Breakfast. This is in Glendale, about 10 minutes outside of Wheeling. Um, it is the only B&B. Um, you can, it is a very relaxing place to stay as you can play on the grand piano or stay in the library. Um, a breakfast is served every morning here and it is located at 505 Wheeling Avenue in Glendale, West Virginia. Um, some things to do in Wheeling while you're there. Um, the first would be go to Independence Hall. This is a historic building located in downtown Wheeling. Uh, this is where the delegates actually met and for the restored government of Virginia, which would become West Virginia. Um, now this is on the National Register of Historic Places and today it's a museum where you can see exhibits of West Virginia's road to statehood and the documents they used to get West Virginia approved as a state. Um, this is located at 1528 Market Street. And next is a suspension bridge. This is one of the oldest bridges in the United States that's so still in operation. Um, it connects Wheeling to Wheeling Island by going over the Ohio River. It was constructed between 1847 and 1849 by Charles L. Jr. Um, Today, when it was completed, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world at 1,010 feet. Um, today, it's on the National Register of Historic Places. This concludes my road trip to Wheeling. I hope you guys take inspiration from this video and take a trip to one of the most historic places in West Virginia and in the whole United States. Thank you. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to West Virginia History with Mrs. B on both Facebook and YouTube.